What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you the best Valorant settings for low-end PCs and laptops to get the best performance and quality trade-off. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. Navigate to your Valorant video settings. I suggest enabling some important performance, input delay and network statistics, which will be shown on the top left of your screen while in-game. This will help you figure out by how much you have to reduce some of the graphic settings to keep a reliable frame rate. In your general settings, set the display mode to full screen and the display resolution to your native monitor resolution. I have set it to windowed as it's easier to record. Below, you should consider capping your frame rate at a value which is a bit higher than your screen's refresh rate, but below the maximum FPS you can get. In case you're unsure about your screen's refresh rate and resolution, then right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. Select the correct display and scroll down to see the recommended display resolution, which should be the same as in your Valorant video settings. In your Advanced Display Settings, make sure to set the refresh rate to the highest value. In my case, that would be 100Hz, and I will set the in-game FPS limit to 120. You can leave the max FPS in background option to a low value, such as 30. For NVIDIA graphics card users, you should consider enabling the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency option. This will optimize system latency and fix FPS drops in most cases. Some users will experience stuttering when enabling this option, so make sure to play a game to see how well Valorant runs on your system. In the Graphics Quality section, you will want to reduce these settings to get the most performance, but your visual quality will suffer a lot. How you set these will depend on your performance and quality preferences, and I will optimize these settings for low-end PCs and laptops. Enable the multi-threaded rendering option. Below, you will want to reduce the quality settings if your performance is bottlenecked by your graphics card. You might want to leave the UI quality setting at medium. I prefer to disable the vignette and vsync options. Vertical sync will wait for the frame to be shown to prevent screen tearing, but it will look like you are running the game at a lower frame rate. Disable anti-aliasing and set the anisotropic filtering option to 4x. Below, disable all of these options to get the most performance. Especially experimental sharpening and cast shadows can reduce your performance by a lot. In case you need more performance when playing Valorant, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.